Okay. We are recording. Recording. Hi. Hey, we're out whose YouTube is getting this. Oh. We just us <laughs> mirror everybody, everybody everywhere. It fights the death. Let's all right. upload it and see who gets to monetize it, because it'll, it'll be basically like Russian roulette at that point. <laughs> <laughs> And the winner was Adrev for a third party. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm not on YouTube. I'm just dragged here against my will. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we have it's two. Turn the, the fan off just in case, because that's not what that is. That's so that's true. Yeah. Which is quite warm in here. We have two oh, piles of candy. We have the Danish pile over here I brought, and the Irish and British pile that Omega and Hagen brought. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> You're going to poison me! I, I don't know why I'm here! <laughs> is it edible? No. It's okay. very much not edible. Okay, now everyone, we're all going to try the Danish stuff, and we also, uh, these guys have also not tried the uniquely Irish stuff there, because there is some. Yes. I'm interested in dairy milk tiffin. I, I think, yeah. I think the two things I have tried of this is I've tried the chocolate, uh, yeah. the, the orange thing, and the uh, and I well, haven't tried the rest. Has everyone tried those two things then? Yes. yes. Okay, then there's no need for them to try here. Whoever wants them most can take them home with them. Victory. Mm. Well, we can break them. Oh, well, I want the uh, uh, orange ones. We, we don't have these in Denmark. Yes. Alright, I'll put I don't eat chocolate, works. so I don't want okay. those ones. That works out fine. I'll, I'll, I'll put them in a camera shot and disperse them amongst us later. Anyway. Okay, secret. Okay, go ahead and choose something. So, should we start with the Danish pile? Or I think we take one and then well, one and yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Well, there's more. Uh, and I, th I think this is the showstopper, so we should uh, end with this. As I told, okay. this, this is the one that almost killed Film Brand two years ago. And this one is stronger. Do you want to die at the beginning or the end of the video? The end. <laughs> <laughs> let's start it's with no something thinking else. About that. Straight in. Yeah, let's start, let's start pleasantly and then uh, escalate. So, so, a lot of our stuff is pleasant. So uh, I like this. I eat this I, I think regularly. Because everyone's so curious about it, let's start with Dairy Milk Tiffin. Go up and show it to the camera. That's it, the best I can do. I'm not sure yeah. what Tiffin is. I've heard it, but it's, it's a Tiffin cake, well, isn't it? What it said on, it on like the internet was that it was a it was a flavor that used to be milk a chocolate with dairy dried milk. grapes. Okay. That was the back. What? Oh. <laughs> Well, they only had some traditional Irish thing that used to be back in the day, and they took it away, and they brought it back, and it was a big deal. It's also the name of a cake in India, so maybe it's an old Victorianish type thing, which is a bottle. I don't know why. Like, like, by grapes, they mean grapes. They only have right? open one right now. Yeah. yeah. That's I don't want them how we do it. Came from the right. super value. Pass it to the bottle. Pass the chocolates. Thank you. As we tell, it's the last stop of Eat My Children. But there there's are lumps in it. Right. This is the bottom yeah. of the Cadbury. That's, that's called the tiff. Mm. We're having a right tip right now. Mm. There's biscuit in it. It's quite moist. I got a raisin. Mm. Yeah, mm. me too. Mm. Yeah, biscuity raisin stuff. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Very chopped, so you kind of overpowering it. The uh, the biscuit yeah. it's in the um, of Ireland. It's you know the little so it is. tubs you can get with with liquid chocolate in it, and you get a biscuit, a biscuit sort of stick mm. like that, and you sort of rub it in, it and you lick it off. Or maybe that's an Irish thing too. Do you imagine it's tasty? Yeah. Don't guess it's chocolate, it's just regular chocolate. Yeah, it's just chocolate. It's like, like fruit and nut, but without the fruit. Chocolate and a bit of biscuit. Yeah, yeah, chocolate, but slightly lumpier. Yeah. So apparently lumpier people chocolate. were begging for this to come back to Cadbury, so this tells you what they get up to in their Republic, um, I guess. Yeah, Royal Garbound's a bit crap. So, yeah, so right. I think this is probably the most familiar, what we already know. It's just uh, hot candy, but with uh, cream. Mm. Uh, were those originals. Yeah. Now I'm the granddad. <laughs> I can't buy them because my that, Does that mean you get to do very creepy adverts? Well, yes. Hot candy is actually quite regular in Denmark. I was quite surprised when I figured out it's not as common in other countries. But we have like a lot of hot candy stores where they do hot candy behind a disc that you can see them make this stuff. Yeah. I saw this video on YouTube where people were flipping out. Oh my god, they're making hot candy like that and it's so special and they're making stripes and just... Dude, I've seen that a thousand times. Quite, My mum made it. <laughs> I'm quite partial to the um the chocolate words originals that they make. I think the chocolate words. Yeah, they, uh, at least at one point they did, and they were a bit yeah. softer than the regular ones. Yeah, they have the nice soft middle ones, which I can't buy a bag of because they'll just be gone, and I'll be like hidden okay. under like a pile of golden wrappers. Oh, he's gone straight in. Oh, no, straight in. Oh, these are really nice. Oh, damn it, I was hoping she'd forget me. <laughs> Why are there crosses on it? Is it for the Danish flag? It's to stave off vampires, isn't it? Uh, no, it's, um, I think it's the Crusaders cross, uh, because... <laughs> well, that's it's the be controversial in certain parts of the world. Mm. Oh well. 
Mm. 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 It's, it's very Werther's original. Yeah. Mm. Very it's quite nice in that regard, but. Less strong it's flavor. Gonna, <coughs> it's going to take a while to suck it. I'm going to have well, to. No, because I was so, French on. Someone who's going to edit this is going to have to fast forward this bit while we just you know, burn it down a little bit. I have that thing though. If I have a hard candy, I have to like crunch it immediately. I'm sorry. Like... Your dentist is rubbing his hands. So. He is though. But he's a nice guy, so. I'm going to get something else from the the mm. British pile. Is going to happen. We can discuss what's going to happen next. <laughs> Well, is there anything else though that everyone's tried? Um, everyone's tried Turkish delight, surely. Well, well, no, well, no, it probably hasn't reached. Have you tried? Did you try proper stories? Turkish delight or fries? I have no idea. I just tasted something, something called Turkish delight, and did I didn't like it. But I don't even remember what. It, I think it, it was did, very, very chewy. Did it have chocolate on it? No. Then oh, you so have you not had real tried Turkish delight. No, you that was real. Stuff. This is the this is the sort of chocolate bar version, which is oh, very God, different. So the, the Chronicles of Narnia lied to us. Yeah, 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 yeah. One of the best things about any video of Americans trying uh, British stuff is them trying Turkish delights and going a uh, fries Turkish delight and going fucking mental because they all hate it. I've never seen an American who likes it's it. Because it's nasty. You just have to do it to confess it to yourself. It's nasty. No, it's not. I love it. I love Why? It. it tastes of roses and well, Is this things. because of Margaret Thatcher? Like, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Every direction is Margaret Thatcher. Thatcher. I mean, like, no, I have a theory that that's why British candies are so chewy, because back in the day, Margaret Thatcher outlawed fun, so that's what you had to do to amuse yourself. It's just like, she want toffee forever. Because, like, no, I no. buy, like, wine gums, like, oh, it'll be done someday. We used to run up to the city hall and shout, ignore the law, break down the door. That was my fun. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I've managed to burn off that one. You were such a hardcore punk. With the aid of teeth. That sounded weird. That came out. That came out. You've got very hot teeth. <laughs> you said what we were all thinking. <laughs> Your teeth are. Well, I held up earlier. So, should I get even more yes, with you? Yeah. yeah. Oh, sure. I think I have tried this before and sure. really disliked it, so this should be interesting. Oh, you okay? Yeah, you gotta try it too again then. My I like great, the proper stuff better. My great aunt uh, Minnie would always <laughs> bring like oh, gel chocolates to, to like a, you know a to nibble. gatherings and somebody who have you tried it. Well, we 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 know what it's like. And you know what it's like. So, Maddie, here you go. I can already feel that chewiness is good. Right, I'm probably going to bite one of these, and then someone who likes it, I'll offer it to someone who actually likes them. Who has it? Oh god. Who has it? It's coming out! No! No! Oh no! It's the not delight. Oh no! It's a pretty colour though. So this, this is what it looks like on the oh, inside. That's so nasty. And as I was it's telling it, it's kind of, you can already see it doesn't, it bends, but it doesn't come out, so... <laughs> you have a bit that hasn't been in your mouth? <laughs> I eat this all the time. Mm. Oh. See? <laughs> It's got a very heavy consistency, which I think is why I find it disagreeable. It's very glutinous. Mm. Yeah. I wish you get some tissues through. Uh, it's, it, it's like um, Swedish pudding. <laughs> well, it, it, it pudding in Sweden is very different from your British people, but that's also you yeah, know, it, like a it, block it, of gelatin. It is pudding basically is awesome. it is basically chocolate on a jelly, and therefore yeah. horrible. chocolate on a rose-colored and, jelly. Yeah, and they're rose all flavored jelly. Unpleasant, yeah. Unfortunately, you know, I had yeah. once. I had or a rose flavored soda. Um, I was looking to see if we yeah. I'll try that. It was awesome. Yeah. The thing about rose flavoring is that it tastes like soap. <laughs> Yeah, it's <laughs> Oh, I should have brought some Parma violets. So oh, I no, oh, oh, man, man no, 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 yes. no, I love Parma violets. I can eat them. I'm, I'm not mad. Parma violets are like, you know those little, those those little sheets you put in the dryer? Explode. It's like the, you know, like it's got fabric softener in it. Parma violets are like sucking on one of them. You see, I like Parma violet, but I cannot contest the fact that it does taste like soap. If we try yeah, some no... King of Denmark, we don't even have a king right now, we have a queen. It oh, tastes so really, um, really, I find really off putting and stuff. Like, oh, 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 wow, I shouldn't be eating this. Yeah, yes, it's gonna make like, if it tastes like it a clean product clean. smells, you know. Uh, so, what, so, what so, what are these? So, these are the King of Denmark. Mm -hmm. uh, again, a very old recipe and have a very distinct taste. Um, and as I said, the ironic thing is we don't have a king right now, we have a queen, like England, we have Margaret II. Uh, 
Uh, but the next one is going to be a king. A son, Frederick the 14th. In the fashionable. So they haven't bothered to change the branding. That's us that's voice them. Uh, and it, as I said, it, it has a very distinct taste of this uh, herb called star anise. Oh, 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 like in oh, Anise, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Chocolate starfish. Uh, yeah. I love yeah. Anise. I, I heard the anus part of that and I'm slightly worried. But, um. <laughs> it's got a little thing on it. Yeah, yeah, it has a crown on it. Oh, it's hard again. Okay. Mm. I love Anise. Oh. Hmm. I hate Anise. Pull me off. Okay. Yeah, it's like the um, oh, it fits in a liquid hot sauce. Yeah, it's like um, if you ever had um, not not a fruit salad, the other one. Oh yeah, blackjacks. Yeah, blackjacks. Yep. Same exactly like blackjacks. Yep, absolutely. To the bin. Which yeah. makes sense because <laughs> they taste like aniseed. <laughs> blackjacks taste like aniseed, so of course. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I really hate liquid. Oh, you're right. I really hate aniseed. <laughs> oh, there you go. So yeah. this is like five. That was lovely. <laughs> 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 I hope the toilet flushing in the background isn't. <laughs> I don't think so, it has the antsy flavour, it's a yeah. nice um, uh, oh, product right. centre. <laughs> it, it's supposed to be, I mean. I shall offer you the bottle so I can taste it. Mine was also delicious. Mmm. Uh, all Caribbean, but they do it right? Yum, yum, no oh, yeah. more for me. Mm. Caribbean stuff is either amazing or terrible. Mm. I'm enjoying this, but I feel <laughs> we need to move along, so I'm going to... Do you need the bin? Yeah, I'll put, hang on. I shall utilise this bottle. roll. <laughs> okay, what, what do you want to try next from the other pile? Hmm. Should we go Vimto? Okay. Oh, Vimto, oh, they are very nice. I will point out that Vimto is an anagram of vomit, but... Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Vimto, do, um, it's kind of weird, because the fizzy Vimto has kind of superseded the plain one, hasn't it? Yeah. Which is a bit weird. Because, yeah, it was the, it's like a really old drink, is the proper mm. traditional. Sorry, what's my yeah, question? Yeah, um, brain, try and figure out how to open I've had in the past had some, um, I might have actually already tried this because I had some chewy ones and they were actually quite quite nice, but I'll try it again just be. For um, so audience members, like... Vimto is a uh, traditional British uh, drink. It's got like berries and grapes and stuff in it. I like the drink, I've never had it. The taste of purple. A lot of soft drinks have really started to um, brand themselves in other forms, like um, Tango. There's loads of Tango licensed stuff, isn't there, recently? Or at least I used to it. Just even stuff like. um. Scented candles and things like that. <laughs> <laughs> I have chewy scented candles in my shop. This mm. is really chewy. It's almost like gum. Mm. Yeah. Almost like gum. It's, it's basically it's designed to remove your fillings. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, it's basically um, uh, we have called a, a chew it, and that's basically it. What we've been to mm. flavouring. Mm. It's a really nice. It's such a great advert. So we're all like, oh yeah. I'm still chewing the aniseed. I've been trying to get that out, and then. Mm. I like how the British stuff is, oh, lovely, wonderful, and, <laughs> and oh, well, you nice. didn't eat like the cream ones. Yeah, those yeah, were nice, right? Oh, well, we've gone through too, but mm. we haven't gone to the strong licorice yet. Yeah, I like chew it, but it's slightly heavier in consistency. Yeah. It's like now and later, but not as chewy. Mm. Now and later is not quite powerful. And ironically, it tastes a bit like a fruit salad. <laughs> yeah. Right now. Yeah, there is a hint of that, actually, isn't there? Mm. We do have something kind of like it in Denmark, but it's not quite as chewy. Right, we're heading towards uh, Licorice Town, I think. Oh, no. Can we get over and done with Yeah, I think I'm taking a break from the hard candy. There's two more hard candies, which are these two. These are actually also Licorice Hard Candy, and this is the spare mint. The mint's fine, but why do you have such licorice? Because she asked me. <laughs> yeah, because there's, a, there's all here to be saying, Psst, hey, can you bring some more that salted licorice? I'll bring you something in exchange. Why don't we have a cultural exchange? Yeah. And also, that's the thing so unique to Denmark. I should bring this you stuff. This looks like it's going to be very, very salty. This is salty fish. Uh, so that's the Danish words for salty fish. Yeah. And it's literally small fish covered in salt. Yeah, I could, I could hear the salt <laughs> through the packet. You know, I get a bag, like, like a bag of fruit pastels and the sugar has just sort of oh, like, yeah. come, up, come off in the packet and it sort of accumulates right. at the bottom. It's had that kind of effect. Us in this part of the world are crazy. We do not understand why salt goes on sweets. Yes, but we're about to learn. Uh, high blood pressure. <laughs> It's actually quite good. My mom loves these. She eats them all the time. That's I really her like favorite cake. Candy almost. 
Oh, God, damn. It's not that salty. You big baby. No, it's not because it's salty. I eat salty food all the time. Oh. It's, just, it's licorice and salt. Oh. And it's like, I don't like licorice. It's salty and a seed. Mm. Yeah. I really like it. Is it a subtle one, huh? Um, no. To the bin! Da 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 da! Mm. That looks good. To me. Oh, my lecture. <laughs> that was a, um, yeah, not such a mm. power potent one. Yes, yeah, delicious. The aniseed is still fairly strongish. Mm. I wouldn't good. say that was Ten my. Points. I wouldn't say that was my favourite. <laughs> I have to say. Mm. Mm. Mickey looks slightly unwell. <laughs> I think I had those in Iceland because Iceland loves licorice and terrible candy. I, as well. But I'm a tough person. I am going to power through this. <laughs> Like that, like that time that I decided to see Keith Lemon in the cinema. Oh god, who oh. did that? Why? Why? <sighs> no. so. Right. What's next on the agenda of toxins? <laughs> well, most has anyone not had curly roly? I think everyone's had curly roly, haven't they? I never had curly roly. Oh, you haven't had curly roly. Curly roly, this is just me. Why have I had the little tiny ones? Oh, they look like worms though, don't they? They do. It looks like they pulled the worm's head yeah. off on the front cover. But it is different, it's different from like having cheese and cheese on toast. It's a surface area, so it could taste completely different. I like curly roly, I don't like it. I've never seen them before in my life. They're chewy. Usually presented in incredibly long manner. What is it with you and chewy candy? Yeah. This is what I was saying. I'm often um, reminded of a Harry Hill running joke he did one during one of his uh, stand-up things where he would uh, every so often go, I'll oh, have a curly whirly as a non sequitur and just keep coming well, back to it over that. and over I really again. I think that was, in the, that was in the Hoods tour in particular. Ah. Can't turn down that chocolate. I think take away the taste. Well, that's great, I actually mm. like that. Yeah, it's chocolate caramel. Mm. It's good caramel, it's Soft caramel. Probably a bit easier so to eat than the actual curly time. whirly. Because mm -hmm. yep. you bite into a curly whirly, the actual one, and the actual bars are sort of like an interweaved little ladder. And when you bite into it, the problem is the chocolate sort of flakes off. Yes. Especially once true. the caramel stretches. That's good though. Unfortunately, you can't use it as a ladder for mice like you can with normal curly whirly. Like you missed the curly whirlies unless you'd like them. Right. I've tried curly whirlies before. Yeah, I know, but I think you might want one anyway. I like curly whirlies. I'm poisoning Hagen. Yeah, so sorry about that. I discovered that spitting it into the toilet wouldn't be a good idea because, you know, fish, that's their natural habitat. It, it, it didn't go down. You just make it more powerful. <laughs> I remember, I remember um, <laughs> trying to fix that. Your, your thing about ladders from mice suddenly reminded me of um, when Kit Kat changed their packaging so they no longer use foil, so it was just sort of wrapped. Um, the Daily Mail got some stupid uh, author to try and uh, try and fill a page about uses you could use for the foil in Kit Kats. Apparently, under the impression that all kitchen foil was going to become exempt, and one of them w was using um, <laughs> using the Kit Kat wrapper as a as a thermo blanket for mice. <laughs> this was an actual thing. I remember. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is uh, the Spearmint ones, and they also call Bismarck, which is German and not Danish, but that means they're also a good thing in, uh, in Germany. And especially at Christmas, we actually eat a lot of these. Mm. And it's one of my personal favorite candies. I eat them a lot. Okay. okay. Let's just sink the Bismarck. Oh, that's. Ooh. I like that's Spearmint. That's, like, that's an like, interesting style. Like mm. yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah, that's good. Very Sheer meaty. Mm. Yeah, that's candy. Mm. No. Not much more to say on that, really, is it? It is oh, a bit right. of candy cake, really. Mm. Got a nice kind of minty flavour. Mm. And like all the rest of these sweets, takes bloody ages to suck down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to cheat again, actually. So are you sucking right, this one rather than burning it? Yeah. <laughs> I do like how we can hear the energy. sounds in everybody's mouth. It's just a <laughs> Well, the good like thing about this kind of candy is it lasts long when you sit with them mm. at home. Well, that's true, yeah. A small packet of that lasts for ages. Thankfully, only one left, which is the licorice, so most of you are probably going to spit it out anyway. I think we should go Scottish next. Try some mm. macaroons. Ooh, macaroon bar, that's something. Yeah. Now, I've had this already, but I'll gladly have another piece because I think they're great. Well, this, so is I guess the, this is the original kind of macaroon. The original macaroons were actually potato based. So everyone's oh. gonna like 
break the piece off and take it. That's how we're going to do this. Though this is, that was years ago. It's got coconut involved. Macaroon okay. onions. It's like, got this like kind of like it's fudgy the, stuff in oh, chocolate. Yeah. And it's the second, it's called the second main bit of confectionery after tablet. Mm, so good. They're not as good as tablet. It's a bit like a Scottish Kindle Mint cake. Oh, breakfast. I absolutely love Scottish tablet in something. Really what do you call it? Uh, it's love. macaroon. You should, it's amazing. Mm. I wanted to bring some tapa, but I couldn't arrange it. I remember Magnus, I, I just uh, I just sent him a, a big bag of a Scottish tablet. Yeah. And uh, that that was gone by the end of the call. <laughs> no, I'm okay, I'm still eating this for you, Macron. Mm. So, honey, do you want the last bit of the macaron bar? I'm okay with that. I'll just put it aside for me later. Okay. I had something like this before, I just don't remember what it is. Yeah. It's quite it's very sweet though, it's quite sweet. Mm. Roger sugar has got a lot of coconut in it. Yeah. Oh, oh dear. I, I, I think <laughs> Oh dear. Yeah. Oh, Scotland. There's some coconut in 15s, but hopefully not too much for you. I think when I usually had it in Denmark, it's in smaller portions. In portions, it's like you know, small things you eat from a. It's probably in portions as well. Okay. Yeah, that's too, But in, I am in portions, in smaller portions, and like small things you eat. Oh, God. All the desiccated <laughs> coconut is stuck between my teeth. Oh. <laughs> There's no escape from coconut. Oh. I'll give it a tolerable. There are probably that. people in I Edinburgh. I like that actually. I, think co- I genuinely think that coconut might actually be growing on there. You should not like stuff like that for the last, but. It's one of those polarizing things you end up really like. Mm. It, um, it, it pleasantly reminded me of um, that chocolate, um, that popcorn that I reviewed recently. I did, um, I did a taste test video on um, a popcorn called. Um, what is it called now? I think. Well, you can get it in Astra and it's um, sort of. Coconut and cacao flavoured, so it's basically chocolate and oh, coconut. And that's coconut. Really that. I, thought, I, I was quite partial to that. This reminded me of that. So. Oh, yeah. and you have some I... uh, soft licorice to take the taste away. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so licorice to take the taste away. Oh, yeah, I have the bus, just like this. Yes, this this is um, actually a mixed bag, so it has kind of a bit of everything. Ooh. Ooh. Um, Courtesy of Haribo. So these are actually licorice eggs with soft licorice in them, and we call these worms, which also have licorice in them. And this is soft sweet licorice, uh, also soft sweet licorice. What's well, not licorice? Yeast. Oh, uh, well, those. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like some sort of small animal's poo. I'm going to try... Well, they call it a worm. I'm going to try a worm. We actually call it a sexy worm. <laughs> a Danish word, labra lava. Can I have That's some right. of the eggs? Quite sweet licorice. One of the... I'll try a licorice egg. Egg. Let's see that. Let's see. Oh, I like that one, actually. I'm still eating the spearmint thing. They do last forever. Mm-hmm. I'm going to try mm-hmm. the red ones. It's, it's like the gummy. Well, isn't this also... Mm. It's just... Yeah, just gummy. It's a strange taste. I'm not going to identify it. Yeah, the yellow was just straight up Haribo. <laughs> I have a feeling that you're just sucking on that for a long time, so mm-hmm. you guys yeah. <laughs> like it. Be exempt. And, and, and I don't want to try it. And, and I'll, I'll, I, try there's it. only so many times I can conveniently leave after having some licorice. And uh, we're waiting <laughs> with a strong one until you're done. Yeah, you are going to taste this. I will try the strong one. Oh, is that the strong, strong one or just the half strong one? Uh, this is the strong one. This is, as I said, uh, the one. Not quite a strong one, but still quite strong. Okay. The kids and grown-ups still love it, so... So what I don't love from Haribo, those creepy adverts where adults talking with children's voices. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting them especially for films, and it's really annoying. Yeah. That's good, I wish they sell that over here. Yeah, It's probably one of those ones that you find occasionally, like the Smurfs one. As you can see, it's a Haribo uh, oh, mix. Matador mix, so it's cruelty to bulls as well. Well, in in, in Denmark, Matador is also the, the word, uh, the name of the game. The game, which is kind of like Monopoly, but a bit more advanced. Oh. See, I, I'm what are these? I'm thinking we should try that. That's foam from yeah. the back of an old sitting chair. <laughs> I'll explain that's 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 yellow man. Yellow man. Yellow man. I'll explain that. This racist. is yellow man. Yellow Man is a Northern Irish confectionery that the name is based, I believe, on Orange Man. You know, guys oh, who march around. Yeah. It's bright yellow. It's 
honeycomb crossed with edible plastic. And not, not really, actually. It's, it's got the consistency of, it, of plastic. Okay, I'm going to have to just put this from the back. We got it from a local sweet shop in Belfast, and we got off the bus because we had to, it was kind of in the summer, we had to take a bus there. We realized what kind of neighborhood we were in because all the murals had men in phallic well, clavis with fixed. the uh, AK-47s yeah. and the, you know, is that that like the chirpies and the talk about it? Actually, it wasn't from there, right? It was from a, a local uh, yellow man seller that I found. Oh, this is the... Because that was several years ago. So that you're saying this is like stuff. eatable plastic, isn't it? Oh, we've got oh, God, it really does feel like plastic. It's rock hard. Yeah. Mm. You can also buy it at the Giant's Causeway at the gift shop. This Again with the chewy candy. It's like the side effect of some industrial chemical process, <laughs> you know? <laughs> it's, it's like, oh, we've accidentally made this better, eat it. It does taste like something you made in a centrifuge. It took yeah. a few moments to get some yeah. traction on it properly. Oh, God, this will destroy your teeth like nothing on earth. <laughs> stick it in for months. The first time I had it, I was got... Mm. <laughs> it is so hard, it is... It is just plastic, but with the honeycomb flavor. It, it's so that sweet. That was so mm -hmm. weak of a throw. It, 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 it really tastes really synthetic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It does. It's bright yellow. It's a bit like if you've got one of those like um, oh, bananas, banana flavor, and yeah. it like you know got yeah. stale. It's, it's like that a is stale, stale fun, yeah. fun banana. Almost yeah. circus peanuts. Oh, we mm -hmm. only got licorice left. Of it's the not bad. Size. But, um, yeah. I can see you did bring more than me, but I'm only one person, so that's, that's my offense. This is like a cheap Halloween candy company. I'll have to whistle down the English one. <laughs> so, we, before we move on to the real fun one, we have some licorice R candy. I'm done. And I think that what I learned is not to bring hard candy to test this. Uh, no, don't bring licorice. <laughs> no, licorice is awesome. This is why uh, we're going to cross it. Okay, so Okay, so this is um, <laughs> this is like the um, the other one Get that this. tasted like Werther's, isn't it? Because it's got the same sort of branding on it. Mm. I don't know why I'm trying to set to the camera. The camera this will is not a very pick complex, up this far away. very complex flavor. Almost, it almost tastes like that. There's a bit of a coffee flavor in it. It's quite nice. <laughs> Choking oh. on sheer sugar. At you <coughs> you say that there's a coffee flavor really sells right. it because I hate coffee. Oh good. It's, it's just it's really good. Oh, it's just so nice. I totally put this in my mouth. Put it in your mouth. Oh, oh, not this one much. Mm. Oh, wow. Wow. Actually, I'm kind of, I'm kind of digging it. It kind of reminds me of like a little bit like popcorn. Flavor, kind of. it, it tastes like burnt popcorn and sort of really old style coffee. Mm. It's a, yeah, it's, it's all it's like a licorice. It's, it's, it's all like a coffee popcorn. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. it tastes off. Yeah, it tastes burnt and off. <laughs> On the plus side, it doesn't taste particularly licorice. -y, so. Uh, <laughs> For you guys, that's Although good. it does get growing the unpleasant on us. Mm. Oh, I think that's a worse thing. Yeah. The amazing thing is, it starts off quite bad, it just gets worse. You don't get used no. to it, you get kind of the opposite, no. it destroys your resistance to it. No. Mm. No. I think there's uh, some pepper in this as well. <laughs> I, 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 I really like it. So. <laughs> Sometimes they also mix the licorice with the pepper, and I think this is one of those. I will be, so I will be the pepper that's really out of powers. Maybe that's it. For the rest of those. I mean, it's not horrible, horrible, but I, yes, it is. I don't read the rest of it. <laughs> you wouldn't want to suck on this for ten minutes. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's a four. He said the fish up. Yeah. <laughs> I could take that like that. So, <clears throat> back on the other side of the pond. How about eh? nerds? Nerds are lovely. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm going to say, um... I, you we, we need to wash this down, <laughs> I think. Yeah, that, that may be a plan. Now, there's two mugs in a glass. So Zara and I have already had, that's like actually my favorite flavor of club, so we can sit this one out. So club is basically Irish Fanta. Yeah, yes. Yes. And this is Club Zero. It's the sugar free time. Take a swig. But they don't make that flavor in regular time, so it's quite nice. It's raspberry and orange. And Club Zero, I'm assuming, zero sugar for yeah. like Diet Coke. So. See, I like to get it in a two liter, but it's quite dear. It's like a pound forty. Oh, well, that was interesting. It was, it was actually like a little bit of yeah. just coming out of it, yeah. Is that um? Is that like a witch's cauldron? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is the Irish mist so it is? Going <laughs> on out there. You know, my my dad asked me why because they went to the north and they were like, Probably why enough. is no one saying luck of the Irish and top of the morning tea? So like, no one says that. Like, yeah. no, no, no. like where people from Japan think we eat nothing but eels. I think. It's actually really hard to get eels. <laughs> I really think though, I guess because like it's a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. right. so, that's it, yeah. I think that's Maybe they don't want to buy how these cookies, these Danish cookies, is a delicacy in China and they pay a fortune just to get this tin can of cookies with them oh, their family. Yes, and they so cost nothing in Denmark and it's the cheapest shit. <laughs> 
they're fairly cheap over here. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine. Well, like sort of Southeast Asia. Really Royal well, Dansk. Yeah, yes. but, but at the end of you will save up for months to get that tin can of cookies and go this home at Christmas. It's See, okay. every every grandmother has a Royal Dansk tin mm. in her house, and it's yeah. full of beads. It's full yes. of beads and buttons and all sorts of things. If you don't have it, the police will actually take uh, your house away. It's got a very fizzy raspberry mm. taste, which makes sense, because that's one of the main ingredients. But uh, yeah, there is a vague hint of orange, but it does, does taste very... Um, it's got that sort of very synthesized, carbonated taste that's not really a... Uh, it's not really my favorite. Well, we have, we have another mug and glass, so we've our comfortable sharing. I think it's a good cocktail mixture in that. Yeah, it's raspberry soda. That's true. It's, it's true, guys. Really nice. It is nice. It's, it actually is nice with vodka, so... Ah, I could imagine, actually. Yeah, that's very much raspberry. Ooh. It was a bit of an aftertaste. I think that's the artificial sweetness, probably. Yeah, it, I think that might be what I'm picking up, the artificial sweetener. Very sugary, very... It's not bad for a zero drink, though. Yeah. I'm not usually a fan of it, but... I don't mind, um, Sprite Zero seems almost invisible to, uh, the original, I've noticed. Uh, should we take another one of the Brits before we go to the licorice? Zero, we make a note that. My girlfriend's diabetic, so... Diabetic, so very... Yeah, yeah, the... Do you want to try the Fifteens? Yeah. Okay, sure, really like that. Fifteens are a traditional Northern Irish, uh, cake. These came all the way from a town called New Buildings. The buildings were new in what, 15 something or other? 16 something. 16 something or other. We'd like, we'd like to apologise at this moment to headphone users. So, traditionally, you said these are sold in. You might want to like split one in half because they, no, they, 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 they are quite They are quite They seem dense. They are dense. Oh, like a pound cake. Oh, okay. Wow. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Um, sort yeah. of gummy, sort of. There's marshmallows. Yeah, there's marshmallows, glassy cherries. It's coconut. Um, well, this is everything. I guess this, this seems like a combination of things I might actually yes. quite like, Left but it might be a, the it might be too much, too many good things at once. Yeah, it, yeah, it is, yeah. it's quite. It's very I'm only going to have a wee little bit because. Okay. Yeah. I've got a cherry. Things. I think I've got a bit of everything. Mm. Mm. That's really a mighty bit. Like, I can't think of what it is. I could need a lot of this in one mm. go, but it does taste good with just a little taste. It's a coconut it's really, but it's relatively subtle, so... Mm. Motherfucking 15s! Mm. Don't pass me when I don't have a whole one. Oh, why would you do it? These are awesome. This is a small 15. It's true, the ones you can get at Sawyer's are like They're quite really nice, but you have... Yeah, the shop, Sawyer's is this uh, ex uh, expensive food shop in Belfast, and Belfast, and they actually provided all of the, the Titanic. The, the, and, um, they sell 15s mm -hmm. three times bigger than this. Cheating. Oh, these are these are nice, uh, I, but yeah, they are very heavy in consistency. They are they. <laughs> I don't them going to your midsection. I, I couldn't eat an entire one of them like you do now. Yeah, I'm quite do it. One of those squares, I think, cut into six and then put the, the little pieces out like that yeah. size. I think that'd be a good bite size. I suddenly that. remember what they remind me of. It's um, I think I remember the wagon wheels. Yes. Ah. Yes, it does. It tastes like wagon wheels. The, yeah, we'll do it in the middle. Because the, the, the marshmallow, yeah. Yes, you're absolutely right. And I was like, did, did, I have a, did I have a cookie with a, <laughs> a cookie with marshmallows in it? And it's like. Oh wait, that's the concept behind wagon wheels. Yeah. I'm on the shore. Yes, they did used to be here. Actually, my mother-in-law got two packaged, so there's well, somebody, one that something else got in this package that's not supposed to be there. <laughs> oh, it's like it's a cockroach. It's, it's not supposed to be white stuff in it. It's oh, that's, that's encouraging. <laughs> Is it like a piece of like another kind it's of? It's somebody's tooth, I think. No, it, it looks like it's something edible, but. <laughs> one way to find out. <laughs> <laughs> So this uh, this was a nice surprise, I guess. <laughs> oh, we still haven't done. Um, there are still a couple of things here that we haven't done. Yeah, yet. but we're gonna now we're gonna go trade back and forth. Because now it's the, you're it's trying to happening. put it up. Well, he, he tried it once already. You can see it on his face. He's just like, oh no, nah. oh no. Nah. Uh, the egg is again actually kind of a mixed bag, so we have kind of really stuck together. I'm having a tweeting bird one. So this 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 was the stuff that almost killed Phil Brain two years ago, and now he's trying to do it again. Brain boy. Oh, it's very potent. It is though. Mine's a, oh, mine's, a, mine's a wee shrimp. It's a prawn. It's all curled up. It's almost burning. How powerful it is! My God. Oh, this. 
Lego piece. Ooh, Lego I'm still finishing that 15. Mm. It's a str it's a stringent. He lives, but, but it's not a good life. It's going to be another one for the bin gods, but um. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> That's not even the potent one, is it? Apparently. <laughs> like oh. I described it to a coworker, and I said, "You know the stuff that you spray on the wind." <laughs> right on my throat. Look, it was it. <laughs> this is how we feel when you try your damn Unicum drink. <laughs> Delicious. I've got oh, immunity, oh. immunity to that. <laughs> I was all like, okay, I'm gonna suck it, and then it sort of went right down my throat, and then went straight it's up into my nostrils. Totally in the so like, That's by far the most powerful tasting I've ever had. I still like it. I still like it. I've still got a blade bit in my teeth. But these are omegas because that's what he asked for. So. Yeah, I like them. They're good. And, then, and we we eat these regularly in Denmark, and I like them. I like them a lot. I eat them a lot. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Nothing. I'm just saying this. I think we should go with Minerics next, because they are quite nice. They're American. Uh, the pound shop near me does American stuff sometimes. So. Oh, sorry, you're mispronouncing that. Nerds! Nerds. These are the rainbow ones. The big movie pack. The gay ones. Gay ones. The best ones, though, eat each other instead. are the little packs that are like uh, grape and strawberry. Those are the best ones. Oh, or the uh, I love American grape flavors. I know, right? It's my favorite. They're, grape Fanta. Oh. I've never had an actual grape that tasted like grape flavor, but someday I'll find one. And they know. do grape juice flavor like that, so they, they must exist. Uh, I think but, they're I think they're based on Concord grapes. There's a there's an American fruit shop in Glass selling grapes over there. Yeah, in yeah, the Norwich, it's so expensive. Although the Five Guys does it from their magic machine or mm. whatever it is. They were also selling um, Joy Rancher soda. Oh, have I tried? I think I have tried that. No, Joy yeah. Rancher soda is too much for me. It's, mm. it's very, very sweet, I remember. Is this where the American pre mixed peanut butter so You're just supposed to take a handful and it. stuff it in your mouth? Yes, yeah, they're crunchy. I didn't do that much for me. The purple ones are great. These are just pure sugar. It's like taking pills. <laughs> they actually are. They're actually just sugar crystals that have been covered in candy. Yeah, I like that. That's fine. Yeah, sour. Yeah. And they're popping. Is it Welch's grapes? Mm -hmm. I can't decide if I like them or not. Not the worst, but I don't think it's something I would they're personally very, buy. Very powdery. Zara loves them so much that um, she came to visit me in the States once back in the day. And I found this really great glass skull in Hot Topic. And it had like a little, like a little, you know, stopper. I bought a shit ton of nerds, and I just filled the skull with nerds. Mm. And then apparently that, that caused some problems going uh, back on the plane. Because <laughs> it came up as liquid. Oh, oh. <laughs> I thought it was Dan Aykroyd's book. <laughs> right. Mm. Well, I think there's only the Super Peratos left. Yeah, left. there's also some stuff over here. Okay, yeah. so we'll, we'll go for the. We'll, shall we go for black currant licorice to splice it out? So black currant's a punishment flavor, and I don't think there's anything to do with it. And a Ruffles raspberry is what they have. Those are Ruffles raspberry. Yeah, I think, I've, I think I've had one of these, so I'm, oh. I will abstain. Yeah, I'm going to avoid because um, it takes so can, long to eat as well. See, anybody else, then then I can do sweet. I'm not the only one who brought hard candy. Go blah, blah. I'll try it so I can <laughs> say I've tried it. So. I said, oh no, I don't like the raspberry. It's, it's licorice. Yay. Black currant is just such a licorice nasty level of Unfortunately, yeah, yeah, this yeah. one is also raspberry. It's, I don't um, like that one. It's, it's, I had it for the first time a few weeks ago. It's, it's so this is really, really sweet. Wait till you get to the toffee in the center. If you want it, you can have it. I bought it because I was like, that's a weird type of licorice that you might not have. Ugh! Ugh! Mm -hmm. None of this. Mm -hmm. Omega oh, hates mm -hmm. black currants. Mm -hmm. I don't mind mm -hmm. it. Just something, I, I think I like my licorice. I like my licorice pure. Well. Yeah. Like your licorice, like you like your man. Oh, no, that's, that's correct. correct. Perfect. That's pure. Whatever. And black. Uh, yes. Yeah. 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 So, what do you like this? I'll have one like <laughs> I don't like the inside. It's, it's just nasty. I'm still working on this one. Yeah. Is that horrible? So this you is that sweet. Wait till you try the raspberry fondant. Yeah, this is, this is a ruffle for those of us They're not playing at home. Not nice. I thought it would be quite different in the inside. It's not. I think I had to try the words, but it is again very synthetic. And the taste is uh, dark chocolate. Dark chocolate on the uh, top. Yeah, 
Because black currant is the flavor of so like sweet. Barbie oh, no. lip gloss from 1985. That's, That's texture. The texture is what just crumbled up. Yeah, like I thought it'd be creamy. And we yeah, had some creamy. It's all like go on, have a sweet. I'm like. <laughs> It's all got like the consistency of bounty bar. So uh, you're not going to yeah. try more of that, then I can just you know, try oh, yeah, yeah. it to be creamy. I know exactly what you mean. So this, uh, oh, the this is the raspberry, raspberry coconut. coconut. Yeah, it's like a raspberry coconut. Mm. It's it's sweet and sweet. Oh, it's full of coconut, is it? Yeah. Mm. Oh, it's not what I thought it was. Well, I'm pretty sure you hate it even yeah, more. Yeah, I, mean, I really hate <laughs> it in that case. Yeah. I mean, you have to try it. Oh, great. <laughs> And we have something a bit like it's called a bouncy bar. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Just without the raspberry, but I can't even taste the raspberry regardless. See, but no. it's like, even the raspberry is like denser and like more like moist it and like nice. It's just dry and... I thought these were raspberry oh. fondant, They taste like a pink, a pink coconut. See? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, how great is it? Oh, that's awful. That's the time we get from the end by a fan. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, Jameson, you can shove that up. Blimey. Alright, so we are genuinely in the crowd. I think it's already been up there. Aww. We're genuinely at the last it's one now, though. It's just a fancy bar. It's horrible. The Piratas. And um, for a long while, this was the strongest possible licorice you can get in Denmark, but you can actually get it one that's even stronger now because the Piratas said, whoa, it's not enough. We are making the Piratas. We're also making a Pepper Piratas. So if people survive this, Maybe next time. Uh, I'm down. Or maybe we'll love this. I might not. Alright, let's see how long I want this It's a wee pirate one. coin. It's Probably got like a little map to treasure. And it says like 85 on it. Yep. Five. Oh, thir 13. My lucky number. Okay. Yes. We're going to get ready. because. The second it touches your tongue, you can tell. Well, it actually burns. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. It is quite strong. It's nice, though. <laughs> it's the purple berries! <laughs> it tastes like burning! Oh. Well, he's having to fight against every um, fibre of his being to screw it out. <laughs> this is singularly unpleasant. <laughs> I quite like it, actually. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, no. with unimaginable terror. It tastes like burning rock salt. Mm. Is this too much? On the licorice scale for you. It's very chewy. Any licorice is too much licorice. Well, we are Weird, sorry, weirdly, yes. it doesn't taste, um, I don't, it doesn't feel more intense than the other one. I can't actually, uh, detect oh. that. Maybe we all already hit a wall with you because you're not used to it. Um, mm, I'm gross. Um. This is definitely even more potent than the last one. Yeah, because when you breathe out, that's when you can, like, taste and smell mm. the ammonia. Mm. It's like Windex, Americans. <laughs> made of evil and viciousness. Oh, God. That's how we maintain our white teeth in Denmark. <laughs> Eating black Thank you for that. <laughs> Eating black sugar. <laughs> Into the bin it goes and where it belongs. Wait, where's the club zero? <laughs> Go on, have some more, it's right there. Okay, out of everyone who hates licorice, I'm the one who's lasted the longest, therefore I'm victorious. <laughs> mm. You win the crown. Oh. So that, that was a... Uh, well, the, the good thing is that licorice is technically good through digestion. I mean, so I don't know. Yeah. So, um, that, that was a bounty of, um, Horrors. mixed, mixed feelings. <laughs> mixed blessing. That was a thing. <laughs> what would oh, God, my spit's on brown! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what would people say was the best out of that? Mm. I would say from the British, because obviously I can't talk about the Danish, but I could really like the Korean world. It's... Mm. I really like normal chocolate. <laughs> yeah, I quite like the I quite like the tiffin as a sort of I quite like the cavalry ones, but I think that's just me speaking my default. I didn't mind these actually, but they're very stodgy, very heavy. I like the um the two the little the ones with all the crust, the, the cream ones and the licorice ones, those were nice. Oh the um oh the um the Werther's like ones, yes. On the Danish side. I've got to compliment at least one one Danish thing. Out of the Danish stuff, the spearmint stuff was best. <laughs> oh yeah, that was alright. I like the licorice. Um. Uh, they're very pinto sweets as well. They're very well, sweet, but we're going to mend them. Not bad. So that's the story of us, pretty much. Thank you. We're all going to die. This is a really good. That, that was certainly together the thinking, like three different cultures. I would have to say that's certainly the thinking I had while eating those Danish licorice. Uh, oh. They kill everyone, it's like so cyanide. <laughs> sure, it tastes like it. <laughs> 
Cyanide tastes nice, actually. It tastes like almonds that are bitter. Yeah. So that's worse than cyanide. <laughs> that should be that tagline. <laughs> I like a bit less like 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 than cyanide. Of course, that would be a thing that you know. <laughs> well, no, but yes, it's in every detective novel yeah. ever. Yeah. yeah. He scented bitter almonds. It was cyanide, he said. Yeah, because bitter almonds, that's the only because they're related, cyanide is related to almonds. Yeah, like your man, um, uh, uh, David Avocado Wolf on Facebook has his meme going around where it's like, this is the bitter almond tree. The American government has banned it because it cures cancer and 17 other things. Isn't that horrible? But if you eat a bitter almond, you're going to die pretty quickly because it does have quite a high cyanide content in it. Well, it does cure those things then. Well, mm. you're dead, so... He died via Bakewell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And on that note... Good night, everybody.